What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel. We're online at www.whatsupinthesky.com. Getting a lot of hits on my earlier videos saying proof of Martian machine. This is the picture directly to the left of it. As you can still see the anomaly, not the machine anomaly, but the big thing out in the distance there, whatever the heck it is. Um, this is Sol 603. And uh, we not only have that, and we have uh, some of that little machine. This was part of it right here. Um, so we get to catch a little bit more of this side of it, which still to me does look like an animal. But we've got this uh, really little cool uh, statue figurine out here in the middle of the, the middle of the thing just sitting here. That's one of them right there. Check that out. To me, that sure does look like a... Uh, little statue or something there's one right here and there's another one right here and they seem to be placed like they were almost placed there they look like they're almost the same make look at that it's got a circle in the middle it's got a head like a weird almost like a lizard head to it and this could be just you know something and it's also got some fuzz around it this could be you know just obfuscated basically or however you say that word i don't know if i ever say that word right here it is right here here's the picture bam right here and it uh, definitely looks like a mini statue right there or something. And there's two of them. Look, I mean, there's also debris everywhere. And they might not be statues. They might be part of something. But the bottom line is, the more and more we look at here's the other one. Very intricate. Um, let's see if we can't play with the gam a little bit. And uh, just maybe the exposure. And just you know, make some simple changes. And maybe bring this thing out a little bit more. And then how about a... Once this is done with this, progress, do, 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 sorry guys, but this one, like I said, I've already got 2,000 hits on that video earlier, I'm telling you, that that is ridiculous, the, the thing right to the right of here, and then to have this right next to it, this area is absolutely just a gold mine for uh, what we're looking at here, what, what us Mars researchers who, uh, you know, I come at this with, honestly, as much as it doesn't seem like it, I come at this with an open mind. Well, you guys see that, but as, as you know, I don't just think that everything on here is something from an ancient civilization or something like that, um, but this definitely looks like a monkey or something like that that was carved out, and I'm th the more and more I look at it, I, I see this as maybe a human or something, whatever was here on Mars had to have been humanoid, because they, either that or they acted a lot like us, I tell you what, but look at this thing, this looks like it's got a, a lizard face with, you know, Wing, not wings, but whatever that thing, you know, the stuff coming off from the side, it's got something here, um, you know, a face, it's got a chest, it's got arms coming down, whatever, it's sitting, almost Indian style, and look out here, you got like a, this might be an illusion, this might be a rock here, and this might be something, but it almost looks like a little sphinx, that's probably just an illusion, so I want to, I'd like to keep it, keep it legit here. <laughs> as legit as it can get, like I said, I see what I see, you see what you see, we're looking at pictures, you know, and uh, this is what I was talking about. This stuff, these little balls that are in this. Uh, I said this in the last video. This, you know, these things right here, they're everywhere on Mars. They look like they're uh, these two balls, three balls inside of something that's got. It's almost like a pea pod, but huge. Um, look at this stuff. More and more, what seems to be uh, like just statues and stuff, just blown to bits and just pushed over and thrown around and buried in the sand. You know, buried in the sand. This stuff has just been. Uh, he like said, this right here was the machine. I'm telling you, that thing is definitely machine. Welcome to the machine. There it is right there. Welcome to the machine, ladies and gentlemen. What in the world is half of this stuff? And we, we, this is perfect. We've never seen anomalies like this. And you get the, the same blur stuff. Then you get the same blinds effect. You get what they try the, what NASA is good at. I mean, taking a, something. A perfect thing like that, and then just adding a blur pixel to it. And if you add enough of those to the picture, things that look like metal, uh, look at this. This looks like a muffler or something like that. And that's just equating it to our terms. But nature doesn't usually make circles with uh, different lines in them. This is interesting. Look at this. It's got a half circle, like a moon, you know, and a, a uh, horseshoe comes down and around. And this happens to go, this just happens to follow it down into this thing here that's got some pipes going up under this piece. And look at it, it's got a full full thing. Once again, I am begging NASA to come out and talk about this stuff. And, I'm, and I, you know, some people have talked to me about this. We need to, so I need somebody who knows about Freedom of Information Act and who's ever sued somebody under it. Um, you know, we need, I don't know if JPL, because it's JPL, I don't know if they've, they're, you know, in the dark. 
but I want statements from real geologists, real scientists, people at NASA. Tell me what is this? What is this thing out here? You know, what can we drive the rover to it? Why does it have a horseshoe shaped something right in front of it? Like a like it's absolutely part of something, uh, you know, something like we see down in Egypt, something we see in, in Mexico, something we see down in Peru, something we see in, uh, you know, all over in uh, Tiwanaka, all over the place. In, you know, China, we see the stuff in China, Indonesia, Turkey, we see the stuff everywhere. Come on, we need to know about our heritage. And that's what this comes down to, is our heritage. Because who knows if we're part of this? You know, this stuff looks human to me. The more and more I look at it, it looks human. It looks like something that a subspecies, who knows how we actually got here. And I know that might hurt a lot of very, you know, religious people's feelings and stuff like that. But if you can't put your religion to, you know, what we're finding out, and if you stay in an old mindset... Um, you might miss out. You know what I mean? Who knows? Who knows? You know, who really knows? That's why we're doing science. That's why we're exploring the world. And you know, look at what what the Vatican came out and said that uh, that basic. You know, look at this right here. That that you know, life on Earth wouldn't contradict their faith. You know, as I knock stuff over. <laughs> more. Look at this right here. More. And more machinery or something. Perfect circles. Three in a row. This looks like some sort of... of God. You know, we can only put this into our terms. But look at this right here. Look at the, look at the blur and uh, the blinds effects put on this. Which looks like... Anything that looks like a face, I think, gets automatically blurred by a computer. And I say it's done by a computer because I really don't think that... Uh, I, think it's done, I think it's done by a computer. I really do. Or it's done very quickly by somebody. Um... But they miss so much. And I don't know if that's, like I said, this, honestly, I don't think, in a way, I don't think NASA's trying to keep stuff from me. But this right here, look at this. This looks like a down, this is a building or something that's crashed. It's got perfect stuff in it. Let me step back to where we were. Look at this. And let me just adjust the uh, brightness up. That's all I want to do with this, just to pull it up a little bit. And maybe the contrast with it. Just to really take a good gander, just to take a gander here. That's pretty bright, but this thing right here is shred the pieces, whatever it was. It comes down, it's got a wall here, it's got inside that's got carvings in it. Look, perfect, perfect rectangles, perfect squares. Up here, it's got decorative, it's got circles, one, two, three, four, five, and an outlying, uh, you know, stripe around it. It was decorative, whatever it was, it was artsy. Um, look at this. The piece comes out, and it gets blurred right here by the block. This is why I think it's 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 a, the computer program that does it. You know, the computers are so smart; they can find us from our our license pictures. They can find us, you know, out there. Um, don't think that they couldn't program the rover to knock out anomalies. Look at this right here. One, two. This is interesting. This stuff here is interesting. I mean, come on. I love NASA to come out and say something. Just I know they won't, and I know that they'll deny this stuff till till kingdom come. That's why I need to rely on you guys to start sharing this stuff. What's this? Any human that watches one of my videos, especially these new ones on these new souls, should be able to put two and two together that something was on Mars at one time. You shouldn't have to stumble on this stuff a million times and say, "Whoa, that looks like a blown up freaking civilization." You know that something something's weird here. This isn't what they told us Mars was. It is a cold, dead planet, but honestly, there looks like there might be moss. There, you know, we've seen satellite pictures of lakes, of trees, of forests. You know, maybe we're not getting the full story. And somebody came to my, and I'm doing a lot of talking in this one, like, uh, but somebody came to my channel the other day and they had a great idea. They said, you know, Mars is paved with gold. The 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 green is on Mars. The gold's up there. And that would make sense. What if the place was filled with gold? You know, I'm sure as shit they're not going to tell us. You know, excuse my language. I've been getting all excited lately. Like I said, NASA's really got me going here with these pictures. I'm so glad they're at least they're releasing them. But something needs to give. Somebody from there needs to come say, you know, well, you know what? I, we are finding very strange shapes and, uh, you know, patterns and, you know, machines on Mars. Yeah, I mean, come on. I hope I'm not making you guys sick, guys. I mean, I might, you know, might as well just cut it right here. I don't see anything. Well, actually, yes, there's more and more to look at here. This, uh, look at, 
here's here's the blinds effects. I need to get it in real good so you guys can see it because I watch my videos sometimes afterwards. Their color, they add this color like a rainbow, and they put this blinds effects on it. Now this came right off the rover, supposedly like this. And uh, see how it has a face look to it right here? So it cuts the face in half and, and cuts out part of the uh, other ornate part. And I do believe it's doing it, like I said, automatically. I, do, I just don't think it's a human that's doing this. Because if I was, if I worked at NASA and then my job was to, to, you know, take out pictures or hide stuff, I surely wouldn't let this go by. Because you think I'd get fired and probably, you know, brown bagged and, and taken off to some God knows where somewhere. But... I don't think it takes a genius to see this stuff, and uh, you know, a lot of people see live animals. They think they see a lot of humanoids on here. People say there's tiny Martians. I don't know. I, I'm still not convinced of all that, but I sure am convinced that something was there at one time, and it's time to come clean and say, uh, you know, hey, let's look at our closest neighbor that that might harbor life. Seems to have har harbor life at one time. I mean, even even uh, jack offs like George Bush said that at one time, you know. And if they, and George Bush is one of your boys. I'm sorry for you. He said I'm an American, and uh, I'm not talking crap on America, but it, I, I'm out of the politics game. I learned that lesson. I was stung. I, I followed Ron Paul and really cared about our country and not, you know, not being the policeman of the world. So. Anyway, guys, much love to you. This stuff is everywhere. This is another download. Go get it. You got it. Go get it. Download it. As you see, there's just stuff everywhere. Put this in your collection. That's why I make the videos. But we need to start sharing these. Share this with everybody you know. Your Twitter, your your Facebook stuff. I know you do social network. Your Google Plus. Hit it. Share it. We need to get this out to everybody. And don't. If, if you don't like my videos or don't want to share my videos, share somebody else's that are doing them because so many people are doing the same thing, but just in their different formats, which I love because everybody sees something different. I see what I see. You see what you see. So much love, guys. I would drive the rover. Maybe it's time NASA gives up the rover, gives the wheel over to me for a couple days. You know what I mean? I give you I give you legits. And uh, I love I, – you know, if the rover doesn't have – say this one more thing before I go. If the rover doesn't have live video from it, for $2 billion, HD live streaming video from the you know four satellites that are, are around right now and MAVEN, which is coming with more satellite capability for downloads. If that's not you know sending back HD video, somebody should be fired at NASA. You guys should lose your jobs at JPL. You guys should be absolutely fired with the technology we have. You're, you're, these cameras, and without a tele, like we should have, uh, there should be Nikon cameras up there. I mean, come on, this is ridiculous. And you say, oh, well, you got to, you know, design these things for a whole different planet. Bullshit. Bullshit. Don't give me that. You guys understand what you're doing, and and, and the people are actually sending this stuff there. If this is even on, I'm starting to wonder if this stuff is even on Mars, which uh, I am one that happen to think it, you know, that it is on Mars. But, you know, I have the people to come here and say, that's the Arizona desert, you know. But I've never seen ruins like this in the Arizona desert. This looks like somewhere down like Puma Punku, somewhere that got just tossed everywhere. Much love, guys. What's up in the sky? 37. Hope you had a wonderful day. It's Monday. 13 minutes, 20 seconds. I'm out.